the Bible say, being confident of this very thing, he that begun a good work in us will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. My message today is we are confident in the wrong thing. We are confident in the wrong thing. What is confidence? Confidence is assurance. Confidence is not going to happen. And my, my message today is to tell Christian, you got to be confident in Jesus Christ. You can't be confident in your job because your job might be folded or your job might go out of business. You can't be confident in the money in the bank because the money in the bank might crash. The bank might go out of business. You can't be confident in your car because your car might break down on the highway. You can't be confident in your friend because the Bible says trust not a friend or confident in a friend. So my message is to those that are having confident in the wrong thing, in the wrong people, and in the wrong places. Because I'm confident that I'm not going to hell. Glory to God. And the reason why I'm confident that I'm not going to hell because I'm born again. How you know you're born again, preacher? I'm born again according to my faith and according to the word of God. Because the Bible say there was a rich man, glory to God. The Bible say uh, 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 there was a man called Nicodemus. The, a ruler of the Jews that came to Jesus Christ by night. He came to Jesus Christ secretly. And say, Rabbi, we know that thou a teacher come from God. Can no man do this miracle that thou doest except God be with him? So Nicodemus, a Pharisee, came to Jesus at the night season. And he came to Jesus Christ by night secretly and said, Jesus, I know you are a man of God. Because can no man do this miracle that thou doest except God be with him. And Nicodemus, glory to God. There's a lot of Nicodemus in this world. But if you got to come secretly or be a secret disciples, it's going to be manifest. Because one day they're going to say, all Christians going to die. And a lot of people, my friend, they say, I'm not ready to die. But everybody want go to go to heaven, but they don't want to die. So Jesus Christ said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he can see the kingdom of God. And let me dissect that for you. For those that are watching this video, when Jesus Christ say verily, verily, he means truly, truly, I say unto thee, except a man be born of heaven, he cannot see the kingdom of God. My friend, you got to be born spiritually. Not born going back into your mother's womb. You're too old. You're too big. You're too glory to God. You are too elderly aged to go back into your mother's womb. And Nicodemus said, how can a man be born again when he old? Shall he enter in the second time in his mother's womb and be born? Jesus Christ said, no, Nicodemus. Verily, verily, I send to thee, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he can't enter into the kingdom of God. What my subject again? Being confident of this very thing. What is the thing I'm talking about? Be confident of spirituality, of confident of being with Jesus Christ. I know that a lot of people are Buddhist. I know a lot of people are Hinduists. But why are you serving Hinduists where many gods that never die for you? If you are Buddhist, a man that with a big head and a big stomach and he sit down and have eyes and he can't see. He have hands and he can't he can heal you or touch you. He got feet and he can't walk. Oh, glory to God. People have confidence in Confucius. A lot of people have confidence, glory to God. God in Apostle in in uh, Aristotles and uh, all the all the wise people, my friend. But Jesus Christ, glory to God, He's a Savior of the world. So my confidence is not in money. 
My confidence is not in material things. My confidence is not even in my job because my job can be folded and go overseas. Hey, glory to God. But my confidence is in Jesus. Where your confidence is today, my friend, because right now they're banning the Bible. Oh, glory to God. But I'm not afraid they ban the Bible. I'm going to keep on preaching the undulterated gospel of Jesus Christ. So my confidence is not in my 401k. My confidence is not in my IRA. My confidence is not even in my salary or my hourly pay. My confidence is in Jesus. The Bible says, set your affection not on things of the earth, where rust and, and, and thieves come and break in, but where your treasure is, your heart be also. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things going to be added unto you. Where is your confidence is today, my friend? Is your confidence in the money that your parents left you? Or is the confidence in the treasure in heaven? The Bible says, my friend, set your affection on things above and not things on this earth. I see a lot of people especially preachers, hey, glory to God, they wear expensive pearl and a uh, garment. And the Bible say, glory to God, we should not wear expensive clothing because the Gentiles seek it after these things. The Bible say Solomon was not real like none of these. It's amazing you are a preacher and you wear mink. You are a preacher and you wear money suits. You are Preacher and we alligator shoes. Hey, glory to God. But Jesus Christ say, my friend, these things gonna pass away. And it's amazing, my friend. People have a confidence in the wrong people, the wrong places, and the wrong position, but not in the Prince of Prince. Hey, glory to God, or the King of King and the Lord of Lord. My confidence is in him, not in things, because things pass away. Things rust. Things get old and things pass away. But Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forever. He never changed. But people change. Places change. And personality change. But Jesus Christ never changed. So my confidence is in Jesus. Hey, glory to God. Being confident of this very thing. What thing I'm talking about? I'm talking about Christianity. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. You're confident. Where's your confidence today, my friend? Is your confident in economic? Is your confident in politician or politics? Is your is your confident in psychology or, or sociology or geometry? Where's your confidence today? Is it in the, the creator of the universe? The creator of the universe is not Allah. Hey, glory to God. It's not Confucius. It's not Hindus or Buddhists. Not in psychologists or Scientology. Hey, glory to God. But my confidence is in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's amazing. A lot of people are losing their confidence in Jesus Christ. He never, glory to God, will let you down. That's why I don't sing the song, He Never Failed Me Yet. Because a yet is a is a negative term. He will never fail. He will never fail. I'm not gonna say yet. Because Jesus Christ never fail. I fail, but Jesus Christ never fail. My car fail, Jesus Christ never fail. My money fail, Jesus Christ never my job fail. Jesus Christ never fail. I'm not even gonna say yet, because yet is a negative term. But being confident. Of this very thing. Where is your confidence? Is your confidence in your 401k? You're going to crash. Do, do we remember the 9-11? People put their confidence in their million dollars. And they got to go back to work. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. But my confidence in the 911. Hey, glory to God, he that dwelleth in the shadow of the Almighty shall abide under, under his wings. 
A thousand shall fall at thy sight, but it shall not come nigh thee. My confidence, my friend, is in the everlasting hand of God. He will never fail. Yes, he will never. I'm not going to say yet because I'm, I'm not looking for him to fail. And that's a problem we have. And we put our confidence in the wrong people, the wrong places, and the wrong position, and the wrong politician. But my confidence is in the potentate, and that's Jesus Christ. You can't even put a, the, your confidence in the president because the president lied, and he's a human being. He's not God. I don't care how much money he have. He's still not God. But God never, never fail. So where's your confidence, my friend? Where is your confidence. My confidence is in the spiritual being, the supreme being, and his name is J. J means joy. E, everlasting. S, savior. U, united. And S, the savior, the sweet savior. And the C, he's a counselor. The H, he's a high priest. The R, he's the right one. The I, he's a great I am. And the S, he's the sovereign God. And the T, he's a terrible one, my friend. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. He is my savior. He is my confidant. Hallelujah. Glory to God. People have failed me. My job, World Bank, have failed me. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. But my confidence, hallelujah, my assurance is in Jesus. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. By it, the elders obtain a good report, being confident of this very thing. I'm confident in God. I'm confident that if I die, Die, I'm going to heaven. Hey, glory to God. I'm not going to hell. I'm going to heaven. Being confident of this very thing.